Uh, Henny Fuddy was at the, at, at, at the Hui when they passed it. Um, but Georgie, Georgie Jobe and, and, and myself, all, we waited we waited for uh, people to call us. But but um, we found that um, our phones were getting interfered with. And, and um, uh, my PA said, she told me she tried to ring me seven times and I never even heard a call. So, um, you know, it appears that, um, that uh, Wellington are, are interfering with our phones. We're interfering with our phones on that day. So, anyway, you can see, that's where Henny Fuddy had put a thumbprint and and, and signed it okay so it's got here okay if you look at these details here there's no mention of when you compare it down here to the next page that's why I got this next page here this is a copy of the the one of the page that um, that um, Michael Stace had, had at Wellington to ask myself to endorse and he changed it around because you can see that flag is down was down the bottom of ours at Waitangi now it's moved, moved up the top and um, and so even that's changed to over here he's got it all yeah because he just changed this that was, that was black, and he's changed this next page to make the, this page purple. Okay, and 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 if you look at this page, he's he, he's recreated this because you know it's got like method of contact any any Harawera, Waitangi Marae representative Nati Rahiri Nati Kawahapu phone details, email details, but, and then he's got witness, no treat, so he's got himself as a <coughs> witness, crown postmaster, autograph, blah, blah, blah. He's so, added. So, so he's added the, he's done that, he's done that to put himself in the mm -hmm. document. Mm -hmm. he, he created this, recreated this page, to add him, add him there, Michael Alexander Stace, was up here. There's no mention of him. Well, see, there's no mention of him. It was only myself and Hennifer. But he, he, um. <clears throat> The, the, he tried to make it out to to us that well because he's a, because he's the notary that he needs to attest attest by putting his details here, which is a lot of humbug. It's a lot of lot of lot of baloney. I've I've got I've got documents uh, uh, notarized by notary publics and all that. They don't go in and include themselves in it, you know. He's got it in here, and he's got his life, 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 life claim number, and all this. All so that. this so was he's got his, all his details on here. He he didn't. This wasn't done on the Marae with. No, with, it was not in front of the no, um, Tamata. No, no. He, these are all his amendment. He did at the motel. And additions and all that, you know. So he 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 went through um, and amended it. And added to it, and altered it. Altered you know, the original document. Yeah, yeah, because this is the original here. Yep. It was, this was actually complete. It was actually complete. Mm. There was no need for him to actually tamper with it at all. Yep. You know. So what he had done is he um, he, he he retyped that, all that, and he's just shifted her her thumbprint initials. Onto, onto this new page that so he, he recreated. So he's copied yeah. and pasted it onto a new page. Yeah. So and he, he added did, and did, added those. Yeah, he did it to um, Henny Fuddy. Okay. And what he did on here, 
if you notice when he recreated that page, all these seals with my thumbprints, he removed them because he recreated this document. Mm. So he so he, them out. he rolled up a Wellington with all my my seals not there. Yeah. So he asked me to put my seals on it because he took them off. He took them off and said, "Oh, Alfred, you, you need to you need to put your seals on it." You know, because because he took them off. Yeah, he took them off he to make another off. another page. Yeah, he create, recreated a different page. And then, and so then that's after. that's five or five. That yeah, that's five. so that's, that's the end. That was the end of that. Our, our that's five. It's a document. It, it it is a document with that. Yeah, on the on embossing. that was passed. That was passed at Waitangi. Yep. On the fourteenth of December, and, and this on the on the evening of the fourteenth of December was when Henny Fuddy and myself we we, we um, signed it all off. We signed it all off. Yep. So then, so, so when when I went down to Wellington, he recreated <coughs> all this. He just shifted Henny Fuddy's thumbprint and his signature to a different, to his recreated page. He removed all all my seals and my thumbprints, in and roll up to Wellington in the morning and, of, of and the um, the 22nd of, of December. With thing, nothing. The thing is this. Both Paula, um, pa uh, Sage and myself, we flew into Wellington on the 21st of December. Okay? And we were picked up by Michael Stace and Michelle um, Hood. Okay? And, and they took us to dinner before they took before they dropped us off at the Intercontinental um, Hotel. And so that we, we arrived at the Intercontinental Hotel around about close to about, must have been about 10 o'clock at night. So, but the thing is this, why, why didn't Michael Stace give Paula and I a copy of this on the 21st of December. Mm. Why didn't he get for we to go through? If we had a copy of, of of his amendments and alterations, which he, he and and we would have spotted <coughs> it, we would have told our Michael, no, we can't go with with your your amended version. You have to go with this. This is what we should have said. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, what, what, what happened, what happened from the, um, from the, especially from the 17th of December to the, um, the 22nd of December, I, I was attacked by um, Georgie Job, um, you know, a whole host of, host of people trying to tell me that not to serve this. After it was really past the server, you know, and and um, and but they were just individuals that wanting that didn't want to serve. I said sorry. I said um, it had been passed by the by the um, by the collective, the fucking meaning of collective, and, and it has to stand because the only way that you can um, rescind something is is with the um, permission of the the um, mover and the seconder and if there's only one only only requires one to object and, and it has to go through well the fact that uh, that we all turned up at Wellington to, to push it through meant meant that we uh, that we had a right to to, um, to serve the document on on the government to stand them down um, a lot of the, a lot of those people don't really understand. Now this is a completely new page so, that he's put yeah, together. Yeah, this this he's I'm just, added. I, I've just no, he actually he actually re he actually he actually um, recreated a whole complete document mm. from page one. If you if you if you notice on this, this has got page six or six. 
six or six. So he's recreated six a six pager, whereas the, our original, our original by my white tongue was only five. Five pages. pages. So he's actually uh, modified. He's actually he actually modified this himself. Hmm. Without the mandate from my tongue. From my tongue. Yeah, he had no right touching this document. He had no right whatsoever. And he altered it. And um, you know, um, and did the thing is, he didn't provide it to um, myself and Paula Sage on on the twenty first of December. When we when he picked us up from the airport, he didn't have this available for us, which he should have, and that way, I would have read it, on the through the night, and I would have picked this up, I would have picked this up, but what actually happened, is, um, in the morning, before we were going to serve it, they had breakfast, I had already had my breakfast, okay, now. Michael Stace had an opportunity to show me the, his changed document, but he didn't. He waited till he had breakfast and everyone else had breakfast. And um, I met him in the, in the lounge area and he came out and then he opened his bag and he put five, five documents um, with, with the, the sign-off page. See the sign, sign page here? He had, he opened it up he had them. He had them um, notarized with the ribbon, <coughs> with the purple ribbon, because this one here, the first one we signed at um, at uh, Waitangi, this this was embossed, had the notary seal embossed embossed on every page, so therefore, uh, this one didn't require a ribbon, because the notary had notarized every page, so this one did didn't require of it and all of a sudden we, we sudden we come down to Wellington and he's and he's changed everything and he's through he, okay this page this page here was not the one I endorsed but this was a spare copy that he had and and um, he he showed me so I I, I so I held on to it I held on to this okay so you can see this was before he put his ribbon on purple ribbon so you can see step one he had he his intention so he 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 he, he um, notarized them he put his ribbon on all of them and he turned up. At the intercontinental where we all had breakfast and you can see that he's transposed um, his, um, his thumbprint and, and, and it, signature onto and, he, and he transposed it onto uh, page six of six of his recreated document so it went from page five of that of the of the, the original this is the original and he ended up on page six of six of his um altered document amended document now yep. now we can we're coming down to this page here now you can see the it's the ribbon he's notarized it with the ribbon through it so um so this page oh, So you can see it's the same as this. We assert, we assert, so it's the same. So anyway, this is the one. This is this is this page here. This page here is how it was completed down here. This, okay. So as you can see, it only had any Fuddy's thumbprint and and signature like up here. You can see. How did they get on the next page? No, no, wait on. Oh. Can you let me explain? Okay. 
So you can see that he had you can see before before I put my seals on this page here was like was was like this. It only had any fuddies thumbprint and, and signature. Okay? No seal. No. Okay. So then he asked me to put my seal my my seals and thumbprints on five documents, five copies of the same. He had five. Well, you know, that's one for myself uh, to get them to receipt mine. One for the um, New Zealand Treasury, one for the um, PMO office, and one for the um, Governor General office. So that's four, and obviously the fifth one for him. So. I did this on on all five documents, separate seals, and put my thumbprint in that. And then he came along, endorsed it down the bottom. You know, and the thing is, the authority starts from the bottom. You know that, eh, John? Mm -hmm. Authority of a document starts from the bottom. So he's claimed authority by by altering altering this page. To put his name down the bottom to claim authority, he removed this flag and put it. He removed this flag and shoved it up there so he could have space for Michael Stace. He, he ended up occupying the space down here. If you look at look at if you look at here down here, see how he, he's occupied the space for Michael Stace all here. So he's claimed authority. Because the authority of a, a, a um, the authority is is the the end of the document. This, so he's claimed it. Okay. So this is just the page six of six of that full document. I j I just wanted to explain. You can see you can see um, there's the original up. This is the original. One of five, two of five, three of five is the order, and page four of five, and this is where we all signed it, where, where Henny Fuddy and I signed off at five, page 505. No Michael Stace on there because he wasn't given the mandate. Mm -hmm. From um, from the the Fakamini Confederation of Chiefs, he wasn't given the mandate from from <clears throat> from White mm. And I, and I felt that was a that was the biggest mistake um, at Waitangi, is that they had this Kotahitanga. And the Kotahi Tanga, uh, Fako Kotahi Tanga, as far as I'm concerned, the Fako Kotahi Tanga is supposed to be, be tw uh, supposed to be tw um, with all the hapus. Mm. All the hapus is about uh, uniting all the hapus. It's not about uniting um, the NZPP, the political party of the New Zealand, New Zealand um, government. You know, the uh, NZPP, Billy Takahika. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a Crown Māori agent for, for NZPP. It's no different than all those Crown Māori agents that, that um, of the um, Māori Party and of the Mana Party. You know, they're all Crown Māori agents. You know, we, we the 46 chiefs on the Forum of Waitangi, 6 February 1840, look, there's no document of concord between those 46 chiefs and the New Zealand Crown, and, and, and those New Zealand Ma uh, Crown Māori agents, you know, you can't have your feet in both camps. And, you know, um, you know, uh, Michael Stace was with Billy Takahika of NZPP, and um, 
and m most of the, most of them are, are of NZPP. That was like Michael Stace, Michelle um, Hood, Alistair Waite. Uh, there's um, Maureen uh, Kumaroa. Uh, there was um, uh, there there was uh, Tupo Tordia. There was um, Rhino Robbins. Uh, you know, there's a whole a whole lot of them. They they were all part of NZPP and all part of Purple Thumb. Uh, they should not have been invited at the at the Fakal Kotaitanga. You know, they allowed uh, the, the Fakal Kotaitanga of Nati Wiki or, or or and people of the New Zealand Crown. That should never have uh, that should never have happened. It should have only been a, a whaka kōtaitanga with, with all, all the hapus and the hapu raps. Hapu are uh, whaka meaning are raps. That's what, that, that, to me, it's about getting that right. Okay? The whaka kōtaitanga with ourselves, not the whaka kōtaitanga joinder with the, with the New Zealand Crown and, and, um, and uh, Ngāti Wiki Tōria. You know, um, <clears throat> our treaty was with Queen Victoria, not with her subjects. You know, and um, and 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 the New Zealand Crown, their head of state, like they claim. Uh, one breath they say it's Queen Queen Elizabeth II of England. The next breath they say it's um, it's a it's a it, it, it's a corporation. Private offshore company um, registered the Security Exchange, uh, Washington D.C. You know, so so it's it, it's a corpus. It, it, it's um, uh, civilly dead in law. That's that's the New Zealand government. It's, it's a corporation, and and you know we we've never ever had a treaty with them. We've never ever had a treaty with uh, Queen Elizabeth II either, because if you look at um, look at um, the English version of the treaty, there's no mention of um, uh, Queen Victoria's, her lawful heirs and successors. So therefore, um, uh, for for one of the reasons, the treaty expired on the midnight of 22nd of January um, uh, 1901, when, after, after her death. And you got to also take into account that uh, Queen Victoria reneged on Articles 1, 2 and 3. So, as far as I'm concerned, the treaty was null and void ab initio from, from the get-go. I think that's enough, John. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yep. covers it. I'll just put the date on again, 19th yeah. of June, yeah. 2021. 8.28 p.m. 8.28 p.m., yeah. right. Okay, yeah. we'll just switch that off.